Hey guys, how you doing again? Moose Tuning Inc. here. Uh, give you guys a little bit of update. Uh, I each couple guys said I was it's been a while since I made a video, so I figured I'd give you a bit of an update. The toro that uh, I each gave me last year is right here. Um, didn't really have to do much to it. Tires are still great shape. The seat, yeah, it could be for better better wear, but it still it still works. Still holds pretty well. Got a new battery for it from. Uh, Tractor supply, got a nice husky in there. Starts it up pretty well. So the tires are good. Now me and my dad took the deck off yesterday and actually did this in one day. It's kind of hard to see, but let's start with the wheels. The R wheels were shaking real bad. They still aren't bad, but we have a sleeve in there on the wheel, so it's just resting on the bolt. I actually found new bolts at our hardware store, but for now those will work great. They spin really well. Same as, as the R side spin very well. Of course put a ton of grease on it to boot. That one doesn't spin too bad. Another thing, this one's going to be a little hard to see, but on the height adjustment you have two wheels back here and two rollers. These things were the loosest things in the world. So we put a new 3 8 roll steel in there, dowel. We took some steel tubing, lined the inside of these. And these things are extremely solid, which is awesome. Blades were also okay as well, so we just sharpened all of those, so those turned out alright. And the front front ones weren't actually too bad themselves either. But we figured while we're under here, just had to put in a new rod, grease it up, put a washer in the middle. It's all set. Nice and tight. Everything else seemed alright. Tires held at pressure pretty well throughout the winter too. Starts up pretty well. Uh, sitting a little while, so I don't know if we'll start up. Without a choke, but let's give it a shot anyway. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh. clean it up a little bit. Clean up the gas tank. Clean up the air cleaner. Let's get started. Idles pretty well when it's warm. Still need to do an oil change. Other than that, it's alright. Got a new spark plug in there recently. Redid the fuel line for the Food Boy Line fuel filter. Decided to use copper. There's that. And yeah, it cuts pretty well. Um, the only thing left to do now with it is just to. Uh, just to give it a bath and clean it up and they'll be ready to roll for the summer. Another project we're working on, you guys have seen this video, or this bike, with the video in it. Uh, the 360, this bike's actually running a lot better too since I got back this, this summer, or in the early spring. What's even more interesting was when I started it up, well, when I got out of my friend's house where I kept it, it actually took me an hour to get started. Now, the problem was it will start up right away. And after I got started, it ran great. But what I did was I filled up the all the carburetors, float bowls, and everything. Filled them up with marbles. The problem was I didn't drain the marbles out all the way, so it actually wasn't starting very well. The second I decided to redrain them again, oh, things started right up, no problem. No stable here, guys. Just all marbles, mystery oil. So you got the uh, new chain. I don't know if I showed you that. Got a new chain on there. Tension properly. Oh, it feels great when it drives. But uh, the problem we had with this one this year, other than for the usual dense, bad seat or missing air cleaner covers, this guy right here was driving to school and uh, bolts that the whole stud was actually missing. So that actually wasn't there before, but this stud bolt was actually starting to come loose. So I'm thinking to myself, what the heck is going on? I thought I blew a head gasket or something, but it was just, uh, it just started to come loose. And when I looked over here, this was already gone. I haven't. I'm guessing when uh, my friend's friend got in an accident with it that caused the dent, well not actually more flipped it, but there was no damage really, too much, but I'm wondering if he put enough stress on this pipe and broke it. So, drilled it out once, uh, tried tapping it, broke the tap in there, I just came out here for about 2-3 hours, helped me uh, fix it, get the old tap out, continued to drill in till the bottom of the, just before I exited the exhaust part of the manifold and went into the engine. Uh, tapped it out, put some, uh, uh, we'll put in some JB Weld, re-tapped it out again, put two helicoils in there, 
5618 stud in there. It holds up pretty well. I took it for a test drive, except for an extremely, extremely small leak coming out from the bottom here with air when it, for exhaust. It's extremely minor. It has not, won't really mess with performance. The thing runs great, sounds great. And after cleaning up, I mean, you know, this stuff chrome's pretty uh, right away, but it actually cleaned up fairly nicely considering how um, rusted away. So I'm thinking instead of just uh, painting it black this summer or this fall when I go and work on it, I think I'll just keep it that way. But yeah, that's just an update for me. and. Uh, I'll try to get back to you guys on the tractor about that and uh, how that progress is going. See you later, guys.